Walking down the avenue Where we used to play The house on the corner It's still the same today Good morning! Uh, welcome back to another video. My name is Timon and this is Slider Drift. In this video, I am installing a new Harken Mast track. I did buy it a while ago. I initially was a little bit of a learning curve to get my head around what they were trying to do, but in hindsight, it's really quite simple. I do believe my system is called a CBAA, like a 13 mil or something like that. And it was very, very, very expensive. So without further ado, today we learn. All the mast track bits are in there. All my other bits are in here. I don't even remember how to do this. So, cause I ordered this maybe a month or two ago. So yeah, I'm gonna have to look up exactly what I do again before I get started. So I've got these little slugs. They slide into my original mast track. I've got the new mast track that goes on and gets fixed to all these slugs. And then I have these are uh, expensive these are the little roller cars i think they're like 350 dollars australian as opposed to i can't remember what these are but they're that that much and they are so much cheaper so these ones just slide because these are so expensive i thought i'd go half and half so i've got seven um just straight up sliding ones and then i've got six ball bearing ones but also the headboard back car um has also got sliders on it so seven seven i figure i'm gonna give that a go i can always switch it over if it still seems like it's got too much friction but i think that's gonna work really well and then i've just got this little stopper which is supposed to go at the bottom all right thought before I pull the sail off I'll do a, uh, a comparison side by side of how quickly I can pull the uh, the main up the track probably needs a bit of a spray FYI hasn't been done ever Take me back. get the picture it's a mission it's not great definitely can be a lot better I started by adding the slugs to the track and then adding one drop of Loctite to every single one of the slugs After the Loctite, I used masking tape to make sure the slugs didn't slide down to the bottom of the track, and then I fixed the track to the slugs. Okay, quite literally, one more hundred of those to go. It's a pretty simple system, really. Once you determine which back car system you need for your particular size boat, then you work out what track you've got for the slugs to fit into the track and then the new track just screws into the slugs just come down to refine my process a little bit make it a bit quicker i've got all the bits of track just lying here so i'll be able to reach down and grab those as i need i've got my double rope system set up here to a pulley off the uh, main halyard and that that way i can just climb up and down this rope real easy and i can get down easy and i can get up back easy and it's going to be real quick i've got all the screws sitting in there so i can easily just reach down and grab in i do have to do a hundred more of these so the next bit i'll show you up there so this pretty much self feeds through when i pull it down and then bites on when i let it go i do also have my positioning belt or lanyard is what they call it and i'll put that in there always have a second safety because this uh main halyard rope half of it runs down the mast and i don't particularly want to be hanging my life on it without double checking that whole rope so i'll put my second safety on just as a precaution and i've also got my drill 
I should be able to just uh, drill them all on the super easy setting and um, save myself a little bit of time that way as well. So, something really weird. I'm missing one slug. I know what you're thinking. You dropped it, but I didn't. I did actually drop one screw, but yeah, luckily that just landed on the deck and stopped. But you know, screws I could just replace. It. Anyways, I uh, I actually just uh, called Harkin about it, and they're gonna uh, I've got to send him an email, and hopefully they're gonna send me out literally one of these. If I did actually drop it, I would have just left one off the bottom or taking it down and taking one off the top but um but yeah i don't know it's the principle you know so i'll get them to send out another one which is really weird um <laughs> it must be a lot of trust on their behalf thinking oh yeah didn't you just drop it anyway onwards just went to the hardware store got me some more of these so i can finish installing the track at the bottom i had to use the method that they tell you in the instruction booklet which is basically put this under slide it up and then and then screw your screw into place their method also says you need to take the whole boom off in order to do everything from the bottom <clears throat> i honestly think that my way is better i might be uh patting myself on the back a bit a bit too much but if you can go a couple of meters up the mast where you can fit one full track in without having to take the boom off and you can sit up there comfortably i feel like even installing the screws was a little bit easier that way i reckon um, and obviously i didn't have to take my whole boom off so okay that's all on now now i've got to go up the mast and secure these all into place look how little friction there is can you imagine trying that with these it's direct side load even backwards just over two grand's worth of little cars in here blink blink I don't know what these little uh, little webbing attachments are called and also these like nylon sliders I guess but I've got some bolt cutters and I'm gonna see if I can just cut them off so I can reuse this little bit of webbing morning if you guys are getting uh any sort of car system i just recommend getting some spare ball bearings because they fall out really easily i've lost a couple luckily just down the road i was able to pick this up this little spring in here if you see this little metal spring if that gets pushed the wrong way the balls just out they come so be very careful when handling these cars and when you're putting it on the track um i've got this little thing you can see there's a couple in there <laughs> that have already fallen out and i managed to catch before they went overboard but yeah i'm going to use this thing and and hold it underneath them every time i put them on the sort of on the track there is little to no wind and it's coming straight on northerly so this is going to be a good opportunity for me to hoist the main on its brand new track and see if i can set up those reefs i'm slightly on the mend this morning i've been sick for the last two days um feel good enough to sort of get fully back into work which is good um yeah you can tell i haven't been sailing much in this boat because i've only been out i don't know less than 10 times um and every day i go out and make sure that it's a day that's going to be nice and light um and the reefs aren't even set up uh i think i may have even lost one inside the boom and there's only two that have sort of pre-rigged but not set up so i'm gonna go up there hoist the main and see if i can figure out those reefs set them up um hopefully put in a third oh 
holy moly, that was easy. I can't believe how easy that was. It went up in like two seconds. Really happy with that. As you can see, my theory is now that that pulls from the same side as where it's on the boom, it wants to pull past all that bit of sail that's just wrapped up in there. And that looks like it's pulling it in the right direction too. Got these tent poles here and hopefully I can just put these together and be able to feed the rope, the third reef through the boom. Um, I'm not sure otherwise how I'm gonna do it. Maybe I could lift the boom up and then get something to roll down that's got a little mouse line attached. I don't know, I'll give this a go first. That actually worked really well. Thought that was going to be super difficult. Okay, now I'll just go and uh, hoist the main and attach that last reefing point. Okay, I'm going to pull the main up to the third reef and just tie the green third reef line on and then I'm going to pull the main all the way to the top just so I know that I've got enough line through it here and then I'm going to come back down and I always see the third reef and just go that's hardly any sail but when it's blowing its ring out you're like yeah that's plenty of sail That's basically it. Black one, number one, red one on the back side, number two, and green is number three. Glad I got those set up, finally, after a year and a half. Well, that's it. That's it for another video. We are here once again. If you've made it this far, I thank you so much and please consider subscribing. It really does help out the channel so much um, just having those extra subscribers on board. So the mast track, ridiculously expensive. Would I recommend it? I mean, I would, I would, I would definitely recommend it if you've got the money. Um, it just goes up so easily now, so easy, straight up, straight down. I'm having no troubles. I haven't filmed it, but I will be getting the Batten Harken Batten receptacles, which means I need to buy four more of those stupid cars, just so I minimise that little bit of wear and chafe that I showed you, and I will install that in the future. But yeah, so far I am absolutely stoked with how easy that main is and how easy it is to single hand now, even though it did cost basically three years of my wage. Okay, bye. <laughs>